Hello and welcome. I'm going to play Utopia. This was released in 1982 according to IntelligentLives.com, even though it has an 81 copyright. This is designed by Don Daglo. It's a simulation game, so it's quite unique for consoles in this time period. I'm going to try to play 30 turns. You know, I'm sure you'll get the gist of it pretty quick, but in order to show all the things in the game, it takes a while to generate enough money. I'm going to do 30 second turns. Okay, so you run an island and you try to keep people happy. You won't see the people and you won't see any kind of soldiers or anything. Like, not people you can control, I should say. You will see rebel soldiers appear that are just there if people aren't happy. But the, what they do is they just randomly appear. You'll see them on the other island because nobody's playing that. And there one appears. There's a lot to explain as I go, but... The, um... The other island, you know, you can play one or two player... I chose to play the second island, which is controller 2, just because I like it better. It seems to be more beneficial for storms, but I could be wrong about that. The storms are kind of random, though. You can see a, the gray cloud coming down. That's rain, a rain cloud. Unfortunately, it's missing my crops. I know, I'm trying to explain everything kind of fast. Only 30 second turns, but the green things are crops. Now those are cheap. Houses are mildly expensive. That noise you just heard was the rain. The, tro the black thing is a tropical storm. That will rain just like a rainstorm, but it can also destroy any item it hovers across for very long. Whereas the rain clouds, those won't hurt anything. There are also hurricanes. As you can see, my crops disappeared. If they don't get enough rain, they'll go away at the end of a turn. That awful buzzy sunrise here is just me either hitting the wrong thing or hitting the enter key when it's not over a proper spot. You know, a lot of tropical storms right now. Okay, I only have one house. My population is over 1100. Which is why I just got a rebel soldier. I don't have enough housing. I should explain, this is my fishing boat. You can only have one at a time. You have to control it, it won't go on its own. And these little dots. Uh, it's the tropical storm destroying a soldier. The um, these dots here are, are fish. There's two on the screen at a time, just like there's two pirates on the screen at a time, which are those little black ships up in the right-hand corner right now. Gotta plant more crops right at the start of every turn, in hopes that rain will water it, because you earn money as it waters it. The crops are also food, whether they get rain on or not. So you gotta feed your people. Of course, you gotta keep the people happy, even though you never see them. The intelligence making a lot of calculations in the background. Because you also have to deal with pollution from factories. I can't afford a factory yet. There's some rain. Let's hope they go over my crops. So I'll build a bunch. Hmm. Didn't get as much rain as I would have liked. So really right now, the fishing boat is my main source of income. I just have to keep the boat around the fish.
Okay, now, I want to try to get a factory down. Okay, it's dangerous to be up in the corner of the screen. That's where all the storms start, and the hurricane will instantly destroy the fishing boat. I'd rather not have to buy another. I also have to avoid the pirate ships, because they'll sink my boat. I gotta get out of here so I can quickly place a factory before the turn ends, if I can do this. Alright. Oh no. I might not be able to get my boat out of there. Hurricane's coming. Uh, okay, I think I'm alright. So the factory generates money each turn. Like I said, it causes pollution even though you can't see it. It slows down the population growth, which is good, especially early in the game. <laughs> Because it's hard to keep the people happy. Now, I'm up to 1,300 people. I need another house. Are they going to get upset? The house costs 60. And I only have 36, 37. You hear those little boing, doing noises? <laughs> That's every fish I catch. to 40 now. I could build another factory, but I think I should uh, I don't know. Maybe I should try that. If I can get it. Ah! We're out of time here. Eh. Yeah. Get in the right spot there. Alright, got some crops down. Get some rain. But not as much as I would have liked. So, the game's mostly played with the disc and the keypad. You don't really use the side buttons. Those just give you stats. Like if I press that button, the side button, you see 1463 popped up. That's my population. You can get these scores while you're playing. I really need to get another house if I can this turn. Let's see if I can get some rain. No, it's changing course. Weather is really important, but it's also destructive. There's a pirate ship missing too. You never know where, where they appear. That one just came in the corner there. Ford house and some crops. Moving my boat to hopefully safe spot. So I'm over fifteen hundred people. Each house only houses five hundred, so I am short housing again. So another, well, let me go over the uh, overlay really quick. The uh, Each item's on a number key, so there's nine things that I can build. Oh, I ran out of crops. So there's a fort, a factory, crops, school, hospital, house, rebel soldier, PT boat and fishing boat. So the rebel soldiers just, if you want to harass the second player, you can uh, just buy one. It's kind of a waste of money though. Now, unless you're being very competitive, because the um, soldier can, it will slow down their income. I'm going to build a school now. And it can destroy an object. You don't know where, where it'll will appear. It could go on an empty plot of land or it could go where a building was at which time the building would be destroyed. Yeah, it turns out to end. It's not good to plant crops at the end of the turn. Just 
because they really need water to survive the turn. Been rather fortunate with hurricanes. Thought I shouldn't say that, but it's possible a hurricane can go right down your island and really wipe you out. Well, the school I built should help productivity of the factory. I should probably build another house, though. Even though I'd love to make more money, if you don't keep the people happy, then the rebel soldiers appear, and that can really be a pain. They will disappear after a while, but if they destroy a building is what problem is. Oops, sorry. So the hospital is the most expensive. It's more of a late game build because it boosts your population. And right now I'm having a hard enough time keeping enough housing. Then there's the fort, which can protect from rebel soldiers appearing in that area. And it can protect the shoreline, keep pirates away. Which is also what the PT boat does. The PT boat can't actually sink a pirate ship. The only thing that can destroy a pirate ship are storms. And they'll always come back, so it's only temporary. What the PT boat does is you can use it to kind of block the pirates, but also sink the second player's fishing boat. Which is cruel. <laughs> if you play with a second player, I think it's better to just more or less play on your own and don't harass them. Yeah, the other thing with buying crops, I should buy a little bit just because they also feed the people. So I need at least three sets of crops plus the fishing boat. See, the fishing boat automatically feeds people as well even when you're not fishing it just counts as a source of food and I'm doing pretty good got three factories they're generating decent money I am gonna need another house oh, I did want to try to build everything so you can see them crops again. It's just risky to leave the fishing boat like a pirate ship pops up right where I am. Then I'm in trouble. I could say it's also risky to build all the houses together <laughs> because if a hurricane happens to go down that oops, sorry, that spot and you could lose them all. One thing I, I don't think it matters as far as placement because although the factories generate pollution, they don't. Uh oh, that's bad. Yeah, lost a factory. I was afraid of that. So the pollution, like I said, I don't think it. It just automatically impacts population. It doesn't matter if it's next to a house or not, I don't think. Oh, I got a rebel soldier. I think it's because I didn't have enough food at the end of the turn. I have enough housing now. Oh, pirate ship got sunk. And now a lot of hurricanes are popping up. I'll probably build another factory next. It's only eight turns in hand. Oh, no. Well, yeah, I guess I should build other things so you can see them. Let me build a fort 
Not that I really need it. But maybe keep the pirates away. So the PT bow, like I was saying, isn't too useful with a one player game. That costs 40. I don't need to buy a soldier because you can see plenty of those. See, the pirate still goes near the fort, so that's one thing I never really understood is the fort. The manual says it protects from them. Uh, maybe it keeps them from harassing like the factory. They will kind of rub along the side of the island sometimes. So the hospital, I said, is 75. I'll try to build one before the game ends. I don't know if I'll have time. Well, maybe. Let's build more crops. I guess I'll build a PT boat because it's really the only other interesting item to, to see. So it's hard to manage both boats. Maybe I'll just park it. Uh oh. Oh no, I may not get to my fishing boat in time. Eh. Oh, that was close. <laughs> That's very close. Oh uh, yeah, it, it, it's tough because you know you gotta move the cursor around. Then when you start managing multiple boats, if you play a really long game. Try to harass them. Maybe it just kind of makes them stuck. I'm just going to leave it there. If you play a really long game, you'll have so much money, you won't know what to do with it. Because there are games where I've played, I've just surrounded my island completely in PT boats. Oh, here comes a hurricane. I. Rain out of housing again, too, but there's only three turns left. I don't know if I've forgotten to mention anything. Ooh. I guess I'll build a hospital at the end of the next turn, just so you can see. It's just a red cross. <laughs> Not much to see there as far as graphics. Then, pretty much housing and factories are the key. Not really getting a lot of rain. There's one rainstorm, but it's barely touching the crops. I don't think it did anything. I didn't hear it. So, I don't know if I said already, this is one of my favorite games. I think it's great. And part of that's there's just nothing like it when it came out. Well, this is the last turn. Let's probably build another house instead of a crop. Just because it won't really matter. Maybe. Oh boy, not really getting much Well, only four seconds left. Oh, I got a rebel soldier and it destroyed the school. Oh, they weren't happy. I think because I ran out of food there at the end. And there's my total score, 1884. So I'm going to end it here. There's not much else I can show you with this game. And uh, thanks for watching.